Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to go over what to expect with your follow-up appointment after having knee replacement surgery and go over what are some important things, important questions to keep in mind for this appointment. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe so you can catch all of our videos related to knee replacement surgery exercises, rehab recovery, frequently asked questions, and a lot more. So usually this appointment is going to occur maybe two to six weeks out from having your surgery. And most times it's with the surgeon, sometimes it's with one of the physician assistants that works with the surgeon or someone else from the office, uh, hopefully usually with the surgeon, at least for part of the visit. And basically, it's kind of a check-in. It's a follow-up to see how you're doing with your rehab and recovery and how's the knee looking. So it's going to include an examination of your knee, of course, and your body and your legs in general, and basically looking for any type of red flags or things to be concerned about. Any signs of a deep vein thrombosis or a blood clot in the leg, looking for any signs of infection, looking for anything like loosening or instability of the implant, and just making sure that there's nothing that looks like it could be a possible red flag. Now also they'll probably most likely look at your range of motion, look at the bending, look at the straightening, and kind of see how far you've come and uh, kind of get a benchmark. And you know, this is not the be all end all. You know, of course it's just a snapshot in your total recovery from surgery, but it gives them at least a general idea of how you're progressing. Depending on if you're not doing well or not doing as well as they would hope with your range of motion, they might talk to you about an MUA or a manipulation under anesthesia and you can check out some of my other videos that talk about what an MUA is and what to expect with that, but they might discuss that. And then they might just generally also look at your strength, look at the swelling of the knee, um, definitely going to inspect your incision, um, make sure that there's no signs of infection, make sure it's closed and um, approximated appropriately. Also, with the follow-up, there's a possibility and a decent chance that you may have some x-rays done, um, especially if you're someone who might be a little bit higher risk, might have some comorbidities, some other medical factors that may increase your risk for potential complications. Now let's talk about some questions that you can ask or should ask or be aware of. So definitely talk to your doctor about the pain medicine. If you're taking any pain medicine, um, should you keep taking it? Should you start to wean off of it? Do you get another prescription? Do you not get another prescription? Just any and all details about your pain medicine and any other medication that you're taking. Talk to them about driving. If you're not driving, when can you drive? Um, talk about work if you're working and when would be appropriate to go back to work. Talk about when you might be able to fly or travel and what their recommendations are for that. You also want to talk about um, water, so taking a shower if it's not something that's been cleared up already. Uh, talk about getting into a pool, doing aquatic therapy potentially, and getting cleared to do that. And also just talk about your recovery so far in general. Talk about your progress with physical therapy. Talk about any symptoms that you've been experiencing and make sure you know you can ask is this normal is this not normal hopefully your physical therapist has cleared up a lot of that for you but of course feel free to ask your surgeon ask um, your physician assistant whoever that may be a lot of the questions are going to be is this normal i'm experiencing this is that normal i'm experiencing that is that normal and you know they're probably used to hearing that and that's perfectly okay so that's just a general idea of what your first follow-up visit with your surgeon will look like and some useful questions that you can ask with this appointment. I hope you found this video insightful. Please be sure to leave your questions and comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Of course, again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't already so you can catch all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.